reached Empress of Oracle, where we tune into all things the divine. And I'm so honored to have Geraldine Oresco here today. Yeah. How, how does one become a part of your support group? Yeah, you can uh, sign up at hybridmother.com. Um, and I have all the dates listed up on that website. We usually have the support group at the beginning of the month. And at the second of the month, I usually hold a workshop. And the workshop mm -hmm. is usually around dream recall. And I do a group hypnotherapy to assist you in, in uh, recalling these experiences. We also do remote viewing training. We also mm -hmm. do channeling training and light language training and speaking because um, okay, these are cool. yeah these are usually people that have contact experience and remember it are highly highly intuitive highly highly mm -hmm. uh, aware um, they already have their you know tools available to them so it's really important to develop and practice them and continue to train because it, that's actually the most important reason why you remember it you're you know there, there's many factors your blood type will define how much you remember mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, your your life purpose and what you're doing here, because a lot of souls that are quite old souls uh, yeah. <laughs> will very much remember that experience because, you know, they're already ready to merge and, 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 and kind of travel and navigate that dimensional plane. So uh, sometimes when you just neglect that part of you, sometimes you can become kind of ill, kind of sick in the body. It's important to process and to integrate the higher higher dimensions that you're you have availability. You know, you have the ability to do. So, yeah, I know I'm RH positive and I'm O blood type, and um, I'm yeah. I'm a vegetarian. I eat fish like every once in a while, and my doctor's like, you can't eat like you have to be a meat eater and all this stuff. And then I found it interesting because sometimes in your group and like sometimes the chats come up about like being RH negative, but I have very strong mem uh, remembrances of Sirius and the Pleiades. And I believe that's usually associated with RH negative. So I, th I thought it was really interesting that I was positive. <laughs> Oh, don't don't worry too much about that positive and negative. It's the O type yeah. really that does really oh. remember a lot um, oh. and more more than other blood types actually. Um, the RH negative is the one that remembers the most. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's actually what it is. Um, it is, and it's, there's, I talk about this in a whole other presentation about how consciousness has kind of organized itself in the different continents. And in those continents, there's predominant blood types, you know, so um, those predominant blood types speak to the kind of uh, ET bloodlines that are expressing in your, in your space in this lifetime. Um, because we we are a cocktail of DNA and we hold within us all all of these species that we've categorized, which are more like a spectrum of vibrational frequency. Really, it's like it's that we're we're kind of experiencing archetypes on another dimensional plane, just the way humans also are going through archetypes. Thirteen main archetypes. Uh, 13 astrological signs, we're, we're cycling through all of these cycles, right? And so um, we're very much tuning in and experiencing all of those. So in one lifetime, you're going to have maybe a couple of those, depending on how much work you're doing, very expressed. And so Pleiadian, you know, all of these, all of these bloodlines, your star seed lines express, and, and they, they have a lot to do with your mission and what you're capable, your tools that are readily available for you. Yeah. Oh. So it's, it's, there's a lot of things that we could talk about there, but yeah. <laughs> cool. I bet we could talk for hours.